blindside hits are ferocious, especially when they come from people you thought were friends. Top of the morning to you. So when we read Psalm 55 with the eyes of love and an urgent desire to get to know God better, we discover how we can depend on God to come to our rescue, not just in normal attacks by the enemy, but he also is there for those times we get blindsided or surprised by an attack we didn't see coming from people we thought we could trust. The psalmist begins Psalm 55 asking God to please hear his request for help. He's visibly shaken. Verse 2, he's restless and distraught to the point that he's moaning, a sound made by someone who is suffering. There is an enemy who has risen up to attack him, who wants to cause him trouble and per- persecute him. This attack has hit him hard in verse 4. My heart is hurting. The terrors of death have come upon me. Verse 5, fear and trembling have come upon me. Horror and fright have overwhelmed me. He wants to run away. The psalmist asks God to employ his godly war strategies to defeat this enemy. Verse 9, destroy their schemes, confuse their tongues. Verse 15, let death come upon them suddenly. And verse 19, humble this enemy. It seems the attacks from the enemy are relentless. In verse 10, causing mischief complete with violence and ruin. In verse 12, the psalmist lays out the reasons this attack is so vile, saying this was not just an ordinary enemy he was used to. Otherwise, he would just bear the attack or run and hide. This attack came from his friends, people he socialized with, and we even went to church with. Even though shaken, the psalmist begins to snap out of it and do what he's done in the past to the more traditional enemy, and that is in verse 16. I will call upon God, and the Lord will, will save me. I will bring my case to God in the morning, noon, and night until the enemy is defeated. Why does he go this route? Verse 18, because God has redeemed my life and peace from the battles that were against me many times. Despite being heartbroken from his former friend's betrayal, his plan is in verse 22. Cast his burden on the Lord and he will sustain him. God has a history of showing up and never allowing the righteous to be moved. Verse 23, he brings down the wicked into the pit of destruction. In fact, these men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their lives. But the psalmist declares, I will trust in, lean on, and confidently rely on God. The word of encouragement today, no matter where the attack from your enemy comes from, always fall back on the basics of your faith. God is good. He is love. 1 Corinthians Corinthians 13 tells us, God, as love, always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. Love never fails. Have a great day.